Hi, Lou again, just reading books for my granddaughter. I hope you enjoy. Today is Clifford Gets a Job. Clifford is a big red dog. That's his owner. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. That's her. That's the owner. If you don't live on my street, you may not know me. That's Clifford's bowl. Or my dog, Clifford. Wow, he's big. Look how big he is. He's a lot of fun to play with. See the kids climbing on him, using his back like a slide. There's only one bad thing about Clifford. He eats, whoops, a lot of dog food. And a lot of dog food costs a lot of money. That is a lot of dog food. He's putting it in a wheelbarrow. Oof, so big. We were spending all our money for dog food. Mother and Daddy didn't know what to do. We will have to send Clifford away, they said. Clifford didn't want to go away. He made up his mind to get a job and pay for his own dog food. He decided to join the circus. Good old Clifford. The circus man liked Clifford. Clifford got the job. You can imagine. He'd definitely be a big dog, huh? But they put him in the sideshow. He just sat there and people just looked at him. Clifford wanted to do something. The amazing red dog. But he got bored, I bet. He peeked into the a tent. He saw little dogs doing tricks. Clifford wanted to do tricks too. Mm, I don't think he'll fit through that ring. So he ran into the tent and he tried to jump through the hoop just like the little dogs. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like that's going to work out. And it didn't work. <laughs> it's hanging off his nose. Ne in the next ring, Clifford saw a little dog riding a pony. That's kind of cool. Clifford thinks he can do anything a little dog can do. Uh-oh. He's bigger than a horse. Wow! But he can't. He can't do anything a little dog can do. The circus man was angry. He asked Clifford to leave. Uh-oh. Now he's a red-faced circus guy. Huh. Don't worry, I said. You can get another job. So he went to see a farmer. Well, that's a good idea. The farmer thought Clifford would be a good farm dog. He said Clifford could work for him. First, Clifford rounded up the cows. If I was a cow, I'd run from him too. A big dog. Then Clifford brought home a wagon full of hay. He was doing so well. And then he saw a rat running, in, running to the barn. Clifford knew that rats on a farm were very bad. Uh-oh. So Clifford chased the rat. Uh-oh. Crashed into the barn. Uh-oh. I think, I think that's the farmer's mad and he's kicking him out. Won't let him work anymore. Uh-oh. Huh. Clifford and I started home. We felt very bad. Everything had gone wrong. Suddenly, a car came speeding past us. Uh-oh, that looks like bad guys. They've got guns and a shooting. And they're wearing masks. That's how we know they're bad guys. So, the police don't wear masks. <clears throat> and right behind it came a police car. 
and they they were chasing robbers. Oh, see the robbers they had masks on, so you couldn't see their faces. Clifford took a shortcut through the woods. Almost looks like he went over the woods, doesn't it? And caught the robbers. Wow. I was very proud. The chief of police offered Clifford a job as a police dog. Now Clifford goes to work every day. They don't pay him any money, but... Every week, they send Clifford a lot of dog food. So now, we can keep him. Isn't that wonderful? Good old Clifford. That's awesome. That's Clifford the Big Red Dog by Norman Bidwell. Oh, I'm sorry. Norman Bridwell. I said that wrong. Take care. Read to your kids.